What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we have a, a, a cool show for you today. Guys, I've had my cup of coffee this morning. Hanging out down here in the museum, and doing some cleaning, some straightening up, and I come across this beautiful toy line of G.I. Joe, of G.I. Joe's, I should say. It was the Celebrating Real Heroes line, and guys, I had a coffee time moment. You know what time it is, guys. It's coffee time with MIB. This is one of the most perplexing, uh, confusing uh, G.I. Joe toy lines released. It's also the least talked about, uh, to my knowledge. These figures are rarely discussed and probably for good reason. They weren't on the market that long. They just weren't on the market that long. Um, these figures were released in 2011 by Hasbro. Um, they appeared in Toys R Us and Target store locations. They were here today and they were gone tomorrow. Um, this was the toy line. Um, these G.I. Joes, this set, the set of five G.I. Joes were the G.I. Joes that made me think that Hasbro had, had come to their senses <laughs> And was going to release the 12 inch G.I. Joe line again. Uh, but we all know that that, that was uh, simply not to be at all. <laughs> and that this would pretty much be the end of the 12 inch G.I. Joe on a massive uh, scale which was sad because uh, these G.I. Joes were made so beautifully but guys it's I want to know and maybe somebody out there knows what happened to this toy line uh, what what happened uh, to these figures. How come these figures didn't make it beyond 2011? Here's a better question. What was the purpose for putting these figures out in 2011 if Hasbro knew that they were not going to go beyond or they were not going to uh, expand on this line? They had a great um, name for this line it was the Celebrating Real Heroes and they even gave us the old G.I. Joe Real American Hero type of a um, banner here logo at the bottom what was the point of even producing these figures if you weren't going to follow up with another set of figures later that year or at least give us periodically some figures from this toy line throughout the year. I use uh, our coffee time with MIB segment uh, to clear the air, if you will, to uh, kind of scratch, scratch my head 
on certain issues that bother me and uh, drag you guys along for the ride. This is a, a, a this is one that has always bothered me since 2011. These these guys just disappeared. They they weren't anywhere to be seen. Uh, these figures now go for a lot of money on eBay. Now let's look here. The um, Where is he? I'm going to get the name of this guy. The Army Paratrooper is one of the... He was one of the last ones to come out from this line. He's also one of the, the, the most difficult to locate and find. Uh, very hard to find. Very expensive. Uh, I've seen him go as high as $140 on eBay and as low as maybe $85 on eBay if you can find him any lower I would say get him but just it's, it's just more uh, perplexing in dealing with Hasbro or trying to understand Hasbro's mindset of why they pulled G.I. Joe in the first place so they stopped producing him then they come back out and they tease us with this toy line the celebrating real heroes toy line they tease us with this just to give us a taste and not follow up with any more action figures. Guys, what are your thoughts? Uh, do you have any of these figures? Here we're looking at my first responder fighter, firefighter, one of my favorite ones from this line. And they all come with the, the G.I. Joe uh, Real American Hero type uh, banner logo on their their uniforms. Disappeared, guys. The forgotten, the forgotten toy line. The celebrating real heroes. Um, this line here today. Gone tomorrow. Uh, seldom talked about. Not really um, uh, brought up in a lot of conversations. Which is crazy because it's they're, they're, they're They were made so well and they did have that brief appearance back in 2011. And they were gone for nothing else. That should have gotten the conversation started a long time ago about these figures. And they were loaded with weapons, accessories, you name it. He's got his helmets back there. Uh, beautiful uh, digital camo uniforms here. Absolutely gorgeous. Got a lot of G.I. Joe collectors excited. Thinking that these figures were going to be the mainstream or uh, the start of something fresh, the start of something new. Uh, just not to be the case. Not to be the case. I guess what I'm looking for and what I've been asking myself since 2011 is, is why <laughs> what was the purpose of bringing these guys 
out. That's I think that's that's the one I I would love to to have um contact with a Hasbro representative um whoever was at the design team who was the the project leader uh on the celebrating real heroes line I would love to know what was their thinking process what was their uh their agenda was it a a a, a cash grab or did they have just loose parts and and pieces that they needed to expel of get rid of move we'll put five figures out i can hear him talking now we'll put five figures out uh, we'll use up the rest of the stock the old gi joe stock that we 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 need to get rid of and we'll we'll give the the gi joe collectors and fan base uh these five figures and we'll be done with it because after that they was just it was you heard nothing from this this toy line nothing from this toy line Here today, gone tomorrow. And I, I just let me move this guy out the way. I just don't understand. And you had such a a built-in fan base, and you got everybody excited right at the right time by bringing these guys back in 2011. Not to follow up on it. Uh, to really leave GI Joe collectors. To leave this toy line kind of hanging high and dry. These guys were out for such a short period of time. I don't I couldn't tell you how well they sold. They were out for such a short period of time. They were so far under the radar that I didn't hear anything coming out, in, coming from any of my G.I. Joe collectors clubs. Uh, no information. Uh, it was literally uh, my family and I going to a, a Toys R Us for my kids one night and my son telling me, hey, dad, here's a G.I. Joe. And that's literally how I found out about these figures completely under the radar off the radar and now they're out of public consciousness why why bother Why tease us, Hasbro? Guys, we want your thoughts and opinions on this uh, Celebrating Real Heroes line. Do you remember this toy line? Do you remember anything about this toy line? Uh, do you have some of these guys in your collection? Um, those are the things we want to know. It's coffee time with MIB. Uh, I just wanted to really give these guys the attention that they truly deserve. Uh, this was the final line of 12-inch figures that were mass-produced by Hasbro and sold to the general public.
now they're museum pieces, artifacts here at the MIB Master Toy Museum. All these guys are bought on the exact same day. I had two were purchased at Target and three were purchased at Toys R Us. Now it's been so long I can't tell you the two that were purchased at Target or the three that were that were purchased at Toys R Us. That's how long ago it was, 2011. So I do remember finding them at three at Toys R Us and then driving to Target and looking there as well. And lo and behold, I found those two. And then I did some research and found out that there were five total and that I had all five. So gone but not but not forgotten what happened to the celebrating real heroes G.I. Joe line I guess that's the real question Guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. You know the routine. God bless. And keep collecting.